For the prestigious national debating competition organised by the French Institute, Hampton chose Patrick Helm and myself to represent the school. So you start with the regional competition, which is organised by St. Paul's Girls School. And if you are strong, you are able to reach the final stages where you are competing against schools from all over the country. We had to practice really hard. We did a lot of after-school sessions during lunchtime with Mr. Chavano, with the French assistants. We really prepared for this. Although we'd won the qualifying rounds, the actual uh, regional final itself, we didn't win, we came second. So we kind of went into the national final as underdogs, I guess. The team that we were debating in the final was actually the team that beat us in the regional final. So I guess you could say there was a bit of rivalry there. It was really intense, the adrenaline is very high. Certes, mais c'est aussi la passion, c'est aussi la passion qui nous encourage à sauver les vies, qui nous donne l'empathie et la sympathie. The motion was, uh, should we listen to reason over passion? And uh, we had to defend passion and say that, no, we should trust our emotions. At the start of the debate, we were maybe on the losing side, but then my, my friend and colleague Nehaz um, was able to kind of use uh, one of their points against them to say that, you know, you're using passion to defend reason, and that kind of flipped the balance. It's evident pendant a debate, tel que celui-ci, que les êtres humains ne peuvent pas communiquer sans la passion, que vous venez de nous démontrer dans vos discours extrêmement enthousiastes. Il serait un monde monotone et ennuyeux. They were exceptional throughout. They were able to, to be quick on their feet, respond spontaneously. Their level of accuracy was extraordinary. And for them to be able to, to, to debate with so much class, so much composure, is, is quite astonishing, really. Nous proposons que pour les questions pragmatiques, où euh, nous puissions faire euh, confiance aux facultés de raison, mais pour les questions d'éthique, de moralité et de corps, when they called our name at the end, it felt fantastic because we've been preparing so hard, we've put in so much effort for this competition. It felt amazing. Um, I think you can see my reaction in the video. I, had a, I was very surprised. I think my reaction was pretty much like uh, that of Patrick. I just went, come on, boys. They so deserved it. We were all so happy and proud of the boys. I hope that our experience in the debate inspires younger Hamptonians to learn languages, to make the most of it, because it really does open up a lot of doors. The joy of speaking a language combined with uh, being able to communicate with other cultures and countries is uh, pretty much a, a no-brainer for me. I think it's fantastic for the More Languages Department. I think it's great for our pupils, it's great for our young linguists to be able to see it, to watch it, to enjoy it. We have reached the the final stages in the past and we've won the uh, petite finale but this time to win uh, the grand final is is just an amazing achievement